What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and in this video, we are checking out Soul's new STXS version 2s. Long awkward name aside, these are another really solid pair of truly wireless earbuds from Soul. And if you've been hesitant about picking up a pair of truly wireless earbuds, now is definitely the time to do it. These actually come in at under a hundred bucks right now with a 20% off deal on Soul's website through the summer. And I'll leave a link down below to the website so you don't miss out on saving a bit of money. The STXS version 2s are of course a refreshed version of Soul's super popular STXS earphones. And if you have a pair of those already, you'll likely notice some significant changes to the design on these, and a couple updates to the features and capabilities too. Right off the bat with the newest version here, there's a redesigned charging case, new shape to the actual earbuds themselves, Bluetooth 5.0, and big updates to the battery life as well. So Soul definitely did a nice job with some major improvements. We get a really nice presentation with the packaging, and in inside the box right away you're greeted by the earbuds and charging case. Like I mentioned, the case for these earphones is this slim oval shape with a sleek silver accent that looks really nice. There's also a loop off to the side that will allow you to hook that case to a backpack or a bag so you don't lose track of it. And around the back you can see that the case charges via USB-C which is really nice to have. You'll get some 25 hours or so of battery life from the case itself and up to about 5 hours of use from the earbuds alone, which like I said is a major improvement from the previous generation earphones. The case also has magnetic contact points for the earphones, so when you pop them into the charger, they fall into place and charge right away, without having to fiddle around with them, and they obviously stay put inside the case as well with a magnet holding them in place. Size-wise, the case is a bit bigger than something like the AirPods, for example, but not the bulkiest charging case in the world, and the smooth, rounded design still allows you to slide them in and out of a pocket really easily, though it's definitely something you'll notice when you're walking around with them. The earbuds look a little different from the previous version, with a much more rounded and natural design. They're a bit slimmer as well with lots of rubber, and actually, before I forget, inside the box you also get a bunch of extra ear tips and ear hooks for finding the right fit. You also get a short USB-C charging cable and a carabiner clip that fits on that loop on the charging case. The rubber ear tips and hooks can easily be removed and swapped out, which is nice. And you don't actually have to use the ear fins at all if you don't want to. I'm not usually a fan of them, but actually with these, they not only help everything fit really well, but also add a bit of comfort since the buds fill up a good portion of your ear, and I'll talk about that in just a second. On the earbuds themselves, you can see that there are a couple indicator lights to show when they're on and charging, and both earphones also have a dedicated button for playing and pausing music, and also launching your virtual assistant both on iOS and Android. Soul advertises these as auto pairing, and while they don't have nearly the same experience as AirPods or Galaxy Buds, the setup process is very seamless overall. You only have to connect the earbuds once via Bluetooth, so there's no like pairing one and connecting the other, or setting up an app or anything like that, so that's great to see. And although they do technically function as sort of a master-slave setup with one earbud being the main dominant one, I never noticed any connection issues or even any cutting in and out with either earbud during my time of using them. And like I mentioned, they were updated to Bluetooth 5.0, so you should be getting just about the best connection possible right now for a product at this price point. As far as their fit and function, I was pleasantly surprised just how well these worked out for me. I have, I think, smaller ears than some people, so finding a pair of truly wireless earbuds can be a little tricky sometimes, but the size and shape here with the soles worked out really well. They're small enough to fit comfortably for sure, there isn't a whole lot that's hanging out of my ear or trying to balance or anything, and they also fill up my ear really well. The rubber portion touches just about everything, and there's definitely this sort of passive noise cancellation experience because of just how much they do fill up my ear canal. They also stay in place really well. Obviously, this whole shaking about is a bit more extreme than walking or even running with these, but I found the default ear tip size to be a great fit overall. My only gripe, as with most wireless earbuds like these, is having the dedicated button that you have to hard press on the earbuds. It can definitely be a bit harsh compared to touch controls since you're pressing down on your ear quite a bit, but beyond that, wearing these is a very enjoyable and comfortable experience. The sound quality on these guys is also really solid. I was pleasantly surprised just how much detail I was getting and how well tuned they were. Songs had a decent amount of bass with very clear vocals, and overall I'd say they'd rival any $100 to $150 pair of truly wireless earbuds. Also, another important thing to mention, there's little to no lag when watching videos with these either. The delay, if anything, is negligible, so no matter how you use them, you'll be getting a great listening experience. The earbuds do have a mic, so you can use them for phone calls, but unfortunately, call quality on these earphones using the mic is quite rough. I personally 
personally wouldn't want to use these as the default option for phone calls, and that's probably my only disappointment. If you're worried about sweating or taking these out in the rain, they are IPX7 water resistant, so no worries there really. And all in all, I'd say for the price, there really isn't anything else that's lacking with these earphones. This is the second pair of sole earphones I've tried and reviewed on this channel, and once again, I'm pretty impressed with what they have to offer. A great design, solid battery life, and a list of features that doesn't miss anything important. At the regular price of $119, I think they're about where they should be. But like I said earlier, if you can snag them for 20% off with Soul's summer deal, that really makes them a great buy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Soul's new STXS2s in the comments below, and if you have any questions about them too. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.